Hi everyone, Banzo Crown Music here. I thought I would do a tip for you this week uh, regarding a panning effect which you can put on pads. So this is an example from my recent expansion pack, um, Modern Analog. Um, there's a pad preset called Apillion Homeworld. Let's just take a listen to that. So you can hear from that example there that uh, this part has got a particular movement. It's got some interest to it. And that's because I'm using an LFO here to modulate the pan from left to right. So that's the effect we're going to try and replicate today. Okay, so as we always do, let's start from scratch on this. Right click, initialize. And we've got the default saw wave right there. Okay, let's begin to start to turn this into a pad-like sound. Just increase a few voices here, not many. This doesn't matter too much, it's slightly wider. Let's transpose it up one octave, 12 semitones. We can leave the rest as it is. And in terms of the reverb and delay, I do like to add a little bit extra to pads there. So let's say about 40. And the delay up as well to about 35. That should do it. Don't need the shaper for this. The pads, it's always good to make them a little bit sensitive in terms of velocity. So we'll just put that there. A nice long attack. With, um, I'm right clicking here and a bit of a slope to it. It's quite a long attack and of course a long release as well. Okay, let's move on to the filter section just below. Don't like too many high frequencies in pads because they tend to build up. So let's just take it down to about two o'clock. And I do like pads to come in from a lower frequency going to a higher frequency, generally speaking. Let's move this envelope amount down. Slight change here in the envelope shape with the decay. So if you're following me, you should have something like this right now. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to the LF4 pan trick right now. So let's just go to the default LF4. All these settings are fine to begin with. Click on the six dots here on the tab. Click and drag up to the pan parameter. Let's go to the mod matrix. You see it's put it in here. We want to move this to 100%. So we're going fully from the left and fully to the right. Let's go back to the LF4. Let's try that. See, the effect is kind of halfway there, but we need to tweak it a little bit. I find the effect works best if it is up to a quarter rate, like this. Let's try that. It's a little bit faster, and my preference actually is up to an, an eight there. Let's try that. And you can hear we're pretty much there. So one thing I like to do with the panning effect is not have it come in straight away, but have a, a slight delay after you press the keys. So what you can do here is you can tweak the fade in knob, and I like to turn it all the way up here. So now um, the, the panning effect won't come in straight away, but shortly afterwards. So then you hear it kind of evolves into it, which I think sounds a little bit better. Do experiment with the oscillator. For example, try some saw samples from the factory library. Could then add some more voices to it. Detune them slightly. It's kind of moving towards a trance-like pad. Or you can try wavetables and scanning through them. You can get really creative with it. Okay, I hope you found that interesting. Today you've learned how to apply an LF4 pan modulation to a pad to give it some movement and to make it sound more interesting. 
If you want to get more out of your VPS Avenger, or are just interested in sound design, click on the like button and subscribe for further videos like this. Okay, see you next time. Cheers.